Today was food bank day in our little town. I had missed two of them uh, last week or two weeks ago because of the heat wave. So I had some catching up to do. <laughs> I got uh, groceries for three families and senior boxes for three families. One family had two senior boxes. Everyone I delivered to is a senior. And uh, I think we got a pretty good haul. So I'll show you what, what we got. For the refrigerator, there were just a couple of items. A dozen eggs, uh, these chicken quarters, lake quarters for frozen. And because I picked up a senior box, there was also cheese. Each person who gets a senior box gets one of these cheese. It's like a, it's like a Velveeta. When I do pickup and deliveries, I kind of have my car set up for it. Even so, it gets very panicky um, sometimes because you're a little short on time. But I have several of these um, like cooler type uh, bags plus an actual cooler bag. And I put in, um, I put these from the freezer in there too. So if it's a couple hours before I can get to someone's house or if it's warm um, outside, everything stays cool or frozen. And I also got some cereal, looks like some sort of Cheerios and uh, bread. There was some bobbly bread and all different sorts of bread. I, I had to deliver to a couple different people, so I just let people, I, I picked out a bunch of different breads and let people pick out whatever sort of bread they wanted. So this uh, family wanted white bread, just a nice loaf of it, and uh, of course, um, the Cheerios. Everyone gets dry goods or pantry items each time. Um, they go to the food bank. Just what it is vary sometimes. This time I've only got um, some rice. It looks like that's uh, two pounds of rice, uh, a pound of pasta, noodles, garbanzo beans, dried garbanzo beans, a can of salmon, some uh, milk, uh, shelf-stable milk, and two macaroni and cheeses. Sometimes people get tuna fish or they get peanut butter. It just depends what donations come in. But I thought this was a nice variety. And as usual, there was plenty of really great produce. A bag of peaches, a bag of potatoes. This is pretty standard every, pretty much every month. A nice bag of small peppers, a bag of red onions, a bag of carrots, one cantaloupe, and everyone got a nice box of mangoes. They're not soft yet, but they will be. <laughs> we ended up having, I think, a little over 200 cars pass by. We were short on volunteers because um, everyone who usually volunteers is back in school, or at least the summer volunteers. But all of the volunteers who were there are experienced volunteers, and it, it moved very quickly. And I don't think, maybe out of the 10 or 12 volunteers, there may be two people under the age of 40. Everyone else was 60 plus, including myself. So seniors rock, we ran around, we got it done. Uh, that's all that matters. <laughs> so when I was uh, talking to my neighbors earlier today, uh, they said to me, do you remember that little bear that was running around last year at the bottom of the hill? And I do remember the little bear. I never saw the little bear, heard about the little bear. I did see a, a home security video of the little bear and it had just disappeared. So I said, yeah, yeah, I, I remember the incident episode of the little bear. I said, well, the little bear is big now and he's back. <laughs> Evidently, he is spending a fair amount of time investigating my neighbor at the bottom of the hill. They have a chicken coop that they've now put an electric fence around and all sorts of stuff. There's a couple chicken chicken coops on the road. Plus they have a little bit of livestock. So the bear has been spotted and everyone's being kind of proactive uh, keeping their animals and their whatever chickens and stuff they have safe and themselves, of course. So a few days ago, I had gone, uh, spent the night at a friend's house and we'd done a bunch of stuff. And so when I come home late that night, that Saturday night, I knew it was going to rain the next two days. So I really wanted to unload my car. So the first opportunity I had to unload my car was around 9 p.m. It's pitch black and it's funny but as I was unloading the car and I was going pretty quickly, I felt like I shouldn't be out there. You know, when you have that feeling, you just should not be out there. I, I was telling myself, this is not the smartest thing to do. And there are other times when 
I'm out there and I don't feel scared at all. And there's no lights out there, okay? It's the moon, it's the stars, it's your flashlight. And I didn't even have a flashlight. I just opened the car, the back of the car and let that be my guide. So it's very, very dark and I usually can't see anything, though you possibly could hear something. So I, I finished up, went back in, and now I'm wondering if I didn't inadvertently feel the presence of a predator. The important thing is the bear, if it was there or anything else was there, continued on, minded his own, her own business, which is perfectly fine. <laughs> so that's, that's the food bank. That's the bear. Um, I highly, highly uh, recommend that if you have an opportunity to help people out through the food bank or something else, please do it. It is so satisfying. It is so satisfying to do it especially in these times when people are really hurting. So that's my two cents worth. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.